Hello everyone, welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud and today we're on to another house, quick house project. So I called out the AC guy and to check the AC unit, make sure it was still great. He said it's all good. He said it's just um, a couple little cracks that need to be sealed up. He recommended a Henry's product. Um, Henry's has multiple of strength factors when it comes to their wet patch so um, I decided to go ahead and get the most extreme one they have the 209 XR as you can see it has a lifetime limited warranty stops leaks in severe weather so you can actually apply this if it's raining outside um, and it should also seal even in rain and or wet on a wet surface it's used to repair holes cracks and splits on the composition the mineral surface cap sheet asphalt coated metal and masonry roofs seals leaks and openings around flashings chimneys vents skylights joints and metal edging and gutters henry's recommends putting a thick application of this on the crack and then you follow it up if it's a lot wide crack you want to add some of this fabric and then another top coat of this and it will seal rubberized and thick and then you can use an applicator i have three different sizes just in case I have some gloves back there, you see, so I don't get this on my hands. So let's go ahead and apply it and I'll give you my review. So sweep off your area, make sure it's clean. And then now we can go ahead and get closer to this area. And let's open up the Henry's product. Here's how the product looks. I just used a screwdriver to pop open the can here. As you can see, it looks like a tar type looking stuff. Just gonna use this applicator here and yeah it reminds me of a thick ketchup like a very thick ketchup and look at that how thick it is see it's like a tar so that's what's going to be used and i like that i can use this instead of a brush to control the app to how much i pick up i did this does come in tubes so if you have a gun you can put it into one of those um guns and squirt it out but they ran out of that at Home Depot, which is really what I really wanted. I control it even more, but that's okay. Let's work with this. So here you go, the product. And first we're gonna apply it here, right where I see these cracks. I'm gonna go around here and make a nice little application here. First, I'm just gonna cover up what the guy did before where I see the cracks here. It's nice and smooth trying to take my time I don't want to be all messy and have it everywhere so apply this all around here and I haven't put on the gloves yet because I haven't gotten real messy or anything yet but I know I'm gonna put on the gloves as I get deeper into the deeper into the um, application or the can so there we go it's nice and neat so far this stuff is going to get really rubbery which is fantastic all right see how nice that applies really nice and smooth i'm loving it keep on applying it so i'll finish this area and then i'll show you what the final product looks like so they had all of this with the gray old tar. So I decided to go ahead and just recover what they had going on. And as you can see, it roll, it glides on smoothly. It's already drying. Um, as you can see, it's already drying. So that's gonna be a definite protective hole there. Around here, I can see a little couple of the cracks of the gray application they had before. So I just went ahead and went on up to cover all my bases so this is ready and good to go it's going to be a nice clean seal it doesn't have a strong odor or anything you don't have to wear a mask the first uh successful application and so far i give it a huge thumbs up haven't used this yet i'll definitely use that around the edge of over there and i'll show you how this is used so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a light application and then add the fabric. Right, so what I'm doing now is just putting it up into that crack that was there. Pressing it up in there. Like that. And then 
And this other piece I have here, do the same thing. Cover it with the tar. Cool. Make sure you press it in the crack there. Perfect. All right. Now we'll get some of the the wet patch. I'm just going over that to seal it in. Oh, looks pretty nice and neat, huh? Pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm finished with the project. As you can see, I went to every area where they had the other gray sealant, and I put new black sealant around the entire area here. I did use some of the fabric where you see the wider gashes were openings so I made sure to get all the way down and around the edges and cracks and everything so we should be good to go for a very long time this can is has a lifetime limited warranty so I just wanted to make sure I sealed up everything so yeah looking good so yeah I recommend this product it's really really easy to apply like you see, I use my gloves and I use the putty, putty little knives and they worked out really, really nice. So I recommend the Henry's product here. You can find it at your local hardware store. I got this from Home Depot. Um, they have various different strengths. This is the highest one, 209XR. And like I said, you can apply this even when the surface is wet and even in the rain actually so it's supposed to adhere so yeah give it a try if you've used it before let me know what you thought about it in the comments below and thanks a lot for hanging out with me on this uh review video take care god bless <laughs>